guys, thanks for watching today. I'm going to show you my first video in a series of five videos that I'm doing on a natural beauty, easy five minute makeups, um, go to looks, something new. You know, I think a lot of us, including myself, can get stuck on one go to look for a long time. And so I'm trying to interrupt that and provide you with a few simple, natural looking um, makeup ideas to help you sort of spice it up a little bit and still get done in five minutes or less. So keep watching and I will show you how I achieved this super natural no makeup makeup look that I have on right now. I hope you enjoy and let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to do here is put on a full coverage foundation because I want it to be quick and easy for you. So I'm using the Clinique Perfectly Real Makeup Foundation. Now I'm going to apply my Well Rested Concealer Stick on my under eyes and also on my eyelids because this does act as an eyelid primer as well. Since this is a quick look, I'm just going to use my index finger to rub that in and, uh, and make sure that it's well blended around my eyes. Now I'm going to use my Well Rested Concealer in powder form to make sure that that is set and also cover up any other blemishes on my face, I had a little bit on my chin, so I'm just going to make sure that that redness is covered. Now I'm taking a fluffy foundation brush and I'm applying my setting powder, which is my Tinted Mineral Veil by Bare Minerals. You can really use any setting powder you like. I prefer this one because it's got a little color in it. Now I'm taking a matte bronzer and I'm just gonna warm up my face around my hairline and my cheekbones to get that nice glow that we all love. And to give me a little bit of pinkness in my cheeks, I'm using my Macaroon Blush by The Body Shop. And I'm gonna apply that right on top and above the bronzer that I apply to my cheekbones. Now moving on to the eyes, I'm using my Nudes palette by Maybelline and I'm going to use this nice matte taupe color in the upper right hand corner of the palette and I'm just going to pack that onto both of my lids. Now I'm going to use this sort of cream shade in the upper left side of the palette and I'm going to use that on my brow bone and up underneath my eyebrow and I'm just going to make sure that that's nicely blended with the color that I already applied. And lastly on this palette there's this pearly white color in the upper left corner and I'm going to apply that to my tear ducts and a little bit under and above there as you can see I'm applying just to make my eyes stand out a little bit more because we are not doing any eyeliner with this look. For my mascara I'm using False Lashes by MAC and I just have a sample of this but I really like it and I'm probably going to buy it once I run out of the sample but I'm just going to apply that to the top and the bottom lashes. I'm using this because it gives nice length to your lashes but it's not clumpy at all so it still gives you that natural look. Lastly, I'm just going to draw in my eyebrows a little bit. As you can see, I have a scar on my one of my eyebrows, and so I've got some gaps there that I'm going to fill in with this um, professional eyebrow pencil in the shade Hazel by Rimmel, and I got this at Target. So that's all that I'm going to do for my brows today. And here are all the products that I used today for this look. As you can see, not a whole lot, so you should be able to do this look in five minutes or less. Stay tuned, guys, for the next few weeks um, as I roll out the rest of this series for you. I hope that you enjoyed. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys!